नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 5.13 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू अ शॉर्ट बार मैग्नेट प्लेस्ड इन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन हैज इट्स एक्सिस अलाइन अलोंग मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ एंड साउथ डायरेक्शन ओके वी आर प्लेसिंग अ शॉर्ट मैग्नेट एंड द वी कैन से एक्सेल पोजीशन और वी कैन से अलाइनमेंट ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट मैग्नेट इज अलोंग मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ एंड साउथ दिस इज गिवन इन अ क्वेश्चन नल पॉइंट्स आर फाउंड ऑन द एक्सिस ऑफ मैग्नेट एट 40 सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ मैग्नेट क्लियर सो नाउ वी कैन सी लेट्स सपोज आई एम ड्राइंग हियर दिस इज शॉर्ट मैग्नेट दिस वन इज नॉर्थ दिस वन इज साउथ एंड फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ दिस मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ वी कैन सी एक्चुअली वी आर हैविंग हियर दिस पॉइंट पी क्लियर एंड लेट्स सपोज दिस इज एक्चुअल पॉइंट पी क्लियर एंड इट इज आल्सो गिवन हियर एट अ डिस्टेंस आर इक्वल टू 14 सेंटीमीटर so at r equal to 14 cm we are getting here null point now actually what is meaning of null point clear so null point means we can see at the point p magnetic field due to this short dipole this is equal to magnetic field due to earth or we can say it is equal to horizontal component of earth clear so we can see at point p at point p we can write like this bh this is equal to nu not upon 4 pi multiply twice m over r cube clear to everyone yes now it is also given yes it is given here that earth magnetic field at this place 0.36 gauss so we can say this is equal to 0.36 gauss clear now it is also given the angle of dip is 0 fine what is total magnetic field on normal bisector of a magnet at a same distance as the null point so let's suppose we are taking here let's suppose this is another position q clear and it is also having same distance that is 14 cm so now we know for an equatorial position for an equatorial position i can say here bq we are getting null point at this position clear so bq bq is written like this this is mu not upon 4 pi and multiply multiply m upon r q clear we can also write like this this is equal to bh divide by 2 clear or we can say this is, this is 0. Point 36 divided by 2 clear so now we can write like this bq this is given by 0.18 gauss clear so we can say this is value of magnetic field due to this dipole at its equatorial position but what is our objective in this question our objective in this question is to calculate total magnetic field on the normal bisector of magnet clear so total magnetic field we have to find so we can write like this b total now listen carefully because we are getting null point it means earth magnetic field is just opposite has the magnetic field by uh, we can say by this dipole clear so we can say in this position we are getting direction of bq in this direction clear and we are getting a null point it means we can see here earth magnetic field is also in this direction yes or no this is also the horizontal component of earth this is horizontal component of earth clear you can see at p point you are assuming bh in this direction that's why you are getting null point here clear so now we can say what is total magnetic field at point q this is given by bh plus bq so i can write like this this is bh plus b q clear what is value of bh this is equal to 0.36 gauss plus i can say bq this is 0.18 so from here we can write like this this is 0.54 gauss clear so this is value of total magnetic field at equatorial position clear now dear student we are going to discuss question number 5.14 and actually this question is related to previous question 5.13 in this question it is given if the bar magnet in exercise 5.13 is turned around by 180 degree where will be new null point will be located clear so now situation will be more clear to you clear now first let us try to understand the given previous situation in the previous situation it is given to you let's suppose we are taking this short dipole like this north south clear definitely if you talk about magnetic field lines magnetic field lines will emerge from or it will come out from north pole and definitely we can see it will now enter to the south pole like this yes or no clear so now yes always keep in mind magnetic field lines never intersect each other so i can say this is equal to this clear 
At the time we are assuming that we are getting axial point at this position let's suppose P and here we are having horizontal component of magnetic field in a left direction and we are getting value of magnetic field due to this dipole in a right direction. That's why we are getting null point at this position clear but now what is given in a question. Now we are turning this dipole by 180 degree clear it means now situation is like this this one clear now we are having north this side south this side clear now it is given here horizontal component in this direction clear and now you know very well if we draw here magnetic field lines magnetic field lines will be like this this one clear this one now you can see if we are talking about axial point if we are talking about axial point at axial point we can see in this side net magnetic field is always added why because we will not find here any null point because we can say here we are not getting this horizontal component of magnetic field and the net magnetic field due to short dipole in an opposite direction both are in the same direction clear so we can say now null point we will not find here clear but let's suppose if I talk about equatorial position clear so at equatorial position means I can say let's suppose I'm talking about this position so now we can say that uh, let's suppose this is point Q so direction of magnetic field this is BQ clear and we know horizontal component acting in this direction so now definitely we will find magnitude uh, we will find null point at equatorial position clear so now we have to calculate position of that null point so I am assuming this position is at a distance x clear to everyone this position is at a distance x so now concentrate so now we have to calculate here what is value of x clear so how can we calculate just we will write here value of magnetic field due to this short dipole short dipole this is equal to horizontal component of uh, we can say earth clear so now we can write like this bh bh equal to mu naught upon 4 pi divided by m upon uh, i can say this is x cube clear <coughs> i can say this is x cube because i am assuming this position is at a position x clear to everyone so this is x cube now it is given in a question bh bh equal to now if we talk about previous question in the previous question this bh this is equal to what i can say mu naught upon 4 pi multiply 2 m over r cube clear yes or no because we have to actually find value of x in terms of r clear so now you can say this one and this one cancelled out clear m and m this one is also cancelled out so 1 upon x cube this is given by twice upon r cube clear so now I can write like this x cube this is equal to r cube divided by 2 clear from here I can see value of x this is given by r divided by 2 power 1 by 3 clear now from previous question it is given value of r we have 14 centimeter clear and it is divided by 2 power 1 by 3 clear now we can say this is uh, we can write like this this is equal to what 14 divided by now what is value of 2 power 1 by 3 what is value of 2 power 1 by 3 this is given by 1.26 clear if you cube this 1.26 near about you will find this is equal to 2 clear so 1.26 and we can see this is equal to what let's suppose I am taking this is uh, 1.25 for example so 1.25 we can write this is equal to 5 by 4 clear so 14 divided by 5 by 4 I can say this is equal to uh, 56 divided by 5 so from here I can write like this this is 1 clear we have 1 and we have 2 so I can say this is equal to uh, if it is given in a centimeter this is centimeter yes so correct answer we have 11.2 centimeter clear so concept is very clear if we are placing dipole this short dipole according to previous one we are getting null point on the axial point but let's suppose if we change the direction by 180 degree or let's suppose if we rotate by 180 degree at the time we are getting null point that is on the equatorial position because uh, we can say here in this situation magnetic lines of forces are actually uh, 
actually increasing net magnetic field on the axial position clear but magnetic field lines on equatorial position is approaching uh, magnetic field due to earth clear so we can see here that's why we are getting null point at this position clear so by equating value of magnetic field due to this short dipole you can uh, with horizontal component of horizontal component of this magnetic field you can find easily value of x clear in terms of r clear so this is all about this question clear to everyone now student we are going to discuss question number 5.15 and in this question it is given to you a short bar magnet of magnetic moment 5.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 joule per tesla is placed with its axis perpendicular to earth field direction clear so what is given question here concentrate on a screen now so let's suppose i am assuming here let's suppose this is a bar magnet clear let's suppose this one is north pole and this is south pole clear to everyone a short bar magnet of magnetic moment means value of small m this is given to you 5.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 joule per tesla this is given in this question it is placed with its axis perpendicular to earth magnetic field clear so what is axis of this bar magnet we can say this is axis of this bar magnet but it is given here earth magnetic field is perpendicular to this axis clear so definitely we can see earth magnetic field will lie on this line yes or no yes now it is given here at what distance from center of magnet the resultant field is inclined at 45 degree with earth magnetic field clear number a part it's normal bisector clear so what is normal bisector this line is actually normal bisector clear so let's suppose i'm taking here a point let's suppose this i'm taking this point clear this point is p clear and let's suppose i am saying in this direction we have value of uh, directly we can say this is value of b naught b naught is what this is earth magnetic field it is given in a question the direction of earth magnetic field is perpendicular to this axis of bar magnet clear now we know very well whenever we are talking about any point p that is perpendicular to this axis it means this is an equatorial position yes or no so when this is an equatorial position if just if i talk about direction of net magnetic field due to this dipole clear or we can say this is uh, due to this short bar magnet i can say this will be in this direction yes or no yes or no because we know direction of magnetic moment direction of magnetic moment is what uh, we can say in this direction yes or no but we can see here direction of this b equatorial it is just opposite to this one clear to everyone so now it is given in a question we are having resultant value of earth magnetic field and it is making it is making an angle 45 degree clear the resultant field is inclined at 45 degree with earth magnetic field it means i can see this angle is given to you this one is 45 degree clear so from here can we write like this value of 1045 this is equal to 1045 this one equal to what this is b equatorial divide by i can say this is b naught clear so from here i can write like this b equatorial this is equal to b naught 10 of 45 degree clear so value of 10 45 this is equal to 1 so we can write like this b equatorial this is equal to b naught clear now you know what is uh, exact value of what is value of b equatorial means what is value of magnetic field at equatorial position for a short dipole or for a short uh, we can say this is bar magnet short bar magnet i can say this is mu naught upon 4 pi m upon r cube clear now in this question it is given the magnitude of earth field at this place is given 0.42 gauss clear so from here can we find value of r directly i can see r cube this is given by mu naught upon 4 pi m divided by i can say this is b equi and directly i can say this is b naught clear to you yes or no because this is b equatorial equal to b naught i can say r cube we can write like this so from here you can see 
mu naught upon 4 pi this value we have 10 to the power minus 7 clear multiply magnetic moment so value of magnetic moment we have 5.25 5.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by value of earth uh, value of we can say magnetic field value value of magnetic field of earth this is 0 0.42 gauss so 0 0.42 into 10 to the power minus 4 clear to everyone so from here we can write like this this is uh, we can say this is 10 to the power minus 3 clear from here you can say r cube this is given by 5.25 divided by 0 0.42 into 10 to the power i can say this is minus 5 clear so let's suppose i am taking uh, let's suppose i am taking here this value uh, that is equal to 5 for example because we have to calculate here i am taking this one is 5 and this one is 0 0.4 so can i write like this approximately this is 5 divided by we can say this is 2 by 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 yes or no clear so from here can we write like this this is 25 by 2 25 by 2 equal to what 12.5 clear so we can see value of r cube value of r cube we can say this is 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 now if i multiply it with 10 and divide with 10 i can write like this this is 125 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear so can we calculate here value of r yes what is value of r r is this one r is a distance of point p from center of this short dipole clear so we can write like this r this is given by uh, 125 into 10 to the power minus 6 power 1 by 3 clear so 125 125 is a cube root of 5 so we can say this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 and we can say in meter clear or you can also write like this this is equal to 5 centimeter clear so here we are getting this value r equal to 5 centimeter clear to everyone yes or no so this is the answer of part number a Whenever we are taking a point on its normal bisector, at that time we are getting position. This is equal to approximately 5 cm. Clear? Now. now, we are going to discuss its part number B. In part number B, it is given when, whenever we are finding resultant magnetic field on its axis. Clear? So, on its axis, again if I draw here, let's suppose this is a short uh, bar magnet clear short bar magnet i can say this one is north this one is south clear this one is north and this one is south let's suppose i am taking here this is a point let's suppose i am taking this point is p clear clear so uh, we know value of or we can say earth magnetic field in the perpendicular upward direction this is clear to us this is perpendicular to this axis of this short bar magnet clear we know if we are talking about b axis we can write like this less this is the direction of b axis but in a question it is given to you value of net magnetic field it at a 45 degree with b axis clear so i can see this value we are having that is b clear b net let's suppose i am saying this angle is what this angle is 45 this is given in a question so can we find here value of value of 10 45 10 45 we can say this is equal to b naught divided by b axis yes or no so from here we can write like this value of b axis this is equal to value of b naught and for a short bar magnet we can write like this mu naught upon 4 pi into twice m over r cube clear to you so now we can also say well uh, we can write here value of r clear now what is r here we can say r is a distance of this point p from center of this short dipole short bar magnet actually actually we can disassemble it at just like a dipole but actually this is magnetic dipole yes so now we can say this is b axis so uh, we can say this is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi into twice m over r cube and this is equal to b naught clear value of b naught is given to you so can we find here value of r cube yes we can write like this this is 2 mu naught m over 4 pi into b naught clear now you know very well we have already solved this part clear mu naught upon 4 pi 10 to the power minus 7 m value this is magnetic moment this is 
5.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 clear and value of b naught 0 0.46 gauss clear so that we have already solved and we find value of that one this is 2 we can say 125 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear so we can also write like this r cube this is equal to 250 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear so now can we write here uh, what is value of small r yes so value of small r yes so value of small r if i say value of small r value of small r this is given by 250 uh, power 1 by 3 and multiply with 10 to the power minus 2 clear so uh, value of r we can say this is equal to 250 power 1 by 3 and we can say 10 to the power minus 6 multiply 1 by 3 clear so from here we can write like this r this one is given by 250 power 1 by 3 and this is 10 to the power minus 2 clear and this is in meter now we can say 216 uh, what is the cube root of 216 that is 6 so definitely this value will be more than 6 and we know what is value of 343 cube root so cube root of 343 that is given by 7 so approximately i am taking this is equal to 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter clear so position of that point where we are getting net uh, net earth magnetic field that is making angle 45 degree with b axis or we can say 45 degree with uh, this is the field of earth magnetic field clear so we can see that is given by 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter or this is 6.3 centimeter clear to everyone so this is all about this question clear now student we are going to discuss question number 5.16 and again this question is related to magnetic materials and there are some fact based question are here clear but if you think logically you can easily give answer of each and every part of this question clear so now we are going to discuss first part number a in part number a it is given why does a paramagnetic sample display greater magnetization when cooled clear so let's suppose we have a paramagnetic substance clear and let's suppose we place that paramagnetic substance in a magnetizing field clear now we know uh, in a particular magnetic materials we have atomic dipoles and that atomic dipoles are aligned in a particular direction yes or no so now we can say uh, whenever we are saying that temperature is decreasing so whenever we are saying temperature is decreasing so the randomness we can say the randomness due to thermal energy that decreases yes or no and we can see the distortion of atomic dipole that becomes very less yes or no because if there is a more random motion will be there definitely alignment there is a uh, difficulty of an alignment in an atomic dipole in a particular direction clear but when temperature is decreases at the time that random motion is decreases random motion decreases it means we can say uh, paramagnetic substance display greater magnetization clear to you so this is all about part number a now if i talk about part number b in part number b it is given to you why is dimagnetic in contrast almost independent of temperature now listen carefully what is the property of dimagnetic substance let's suppose if you are placing any dimagnetic substance in any magnetizing field let's suppose i am saying this is a dimagnetic materials clear and let's suppose you place in a magnetizing field let's suppose that is h clear now we know an atomic dipole or we can say due to this magnetic uh, we can say due to this magnetizing field induced atomic dipole is generated in a dimagnetic materials like this clear and due to which we can see an induced uh, induced magnetizing or we can say induced electric field that is produced here in an opposite direction clear so we can see def definitely either we are increasing temperature or we are decreasing temperature there is no relation that there is actually this opposite induce uh, induce uh, electric we can say induced magnetic field that is always produced clear uh, i think you are getting my point what i want to say whenever we place any dimagnetic material in a magnetizing field definitely here 
and induce or we can say opposing electric field that is produced here so opposite uh, the elect the direction of this direction of this induced electric field in an opposite direction of this field it means we can say either we are increasing temperature we are decreasing temperature but we always find this in an opposite direction clear to you that's why we can say it is uh, the diamagnetic property of any substance magnetic material it does not depends on a temperature or we can say it almost independent of temperature clear to you now now if i am talking about part number c if a toroid use bismuth for its core will the field in the core will be greater or slightly less than when the core is empty so listen carefully let's suppose if i am drawing here let's suppose this is a core let's suppose this is core clear and here we have a toroid let's suppose this is toroid like this toroid is something like this like this clear so let's suppose this is a toroid clear now in this question it is given uh, let's suppose initially we have this core empty clear you know very well whenever we are talking about toroid a uh, uniform magnetic field that is produced inside this toroid only clear let's suppose current is flowing in a particular direction like this clear let's suppose current is flowing in a toroid in a particular direction so now we can say uh, induce uh, we can say uniform magnetic field is produced inside this toroid only this is clear to everyone but let's suppose in this question it is given when core is empty here now let's suppose we are filling or uh, actually we are using here bismuth for its core now what is concept here concept is very simple if we are taking bismuth as a core bismuth is actually diamagnetic substance diamagnetic substance so we can say whenever we are applying here magnetizing field from outside and because this is a diamagnetic substance so net magnetization we can say net magnetic field that is decreases inside core clear so what is answer of this question if we use toroid having bismuth for its core field in the core will be slightly less than when core is empty clear to everyone so correct answer is what this is slightly less than clear to everyone yes now we are going to discuss part number d of this question and in this question it is given to you is the permeability of a ferromagnetic material independent of the magnetic field yes Def uh, no 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 yes we can say is the permeability of a ferromagnetic material independent no clear because uh, because let's suppose if i draw here bh curve you know what what is the shape of bh curve so we can say this shape will be look like this it will be like this clear like this so now listen carefully what i am saying to you because this is a bh curve and we know mu this is given by b by h so we can say slope slope of uh yes slope of bh curve slope of bh curve it provides you the value of permeability of that magnetic material yes or no yes so yes so slope of bh curve it provides you permeability yes or no so whenever it provides permeability so now listen carefully initially just a minute again i am drawing it's like this now you can say if i am talking about initially so let's suppose this is o point clear and let's suppose this is a point so from o to a you can say its slope is actually continuously changing from point to point and you can also observe for lower value of magnetic field clear slope is more yes or no so it means we can say permeability of a ferromagnetic material independent of magnetic field no if not it is more for lower or higher field so definitely we can say for lower magnetic field the value of permeability for a ferromagnetic substance it will be more clear because you can say if you are talking about slope 
slope is more at this point clear let's suppose if we draw here the tangent and if we draw here the tangent definitely you can say here we are getting slope that is more clear so correctly we can say it is more for lower field clear to everyone yes now we are going to discuss part number e in part number e it is given magnetic field lines are always nearly normal to the surface of ferromagnet at every point clear this fact is analogous to the static electric field lines being normal to the surface of a conductor at every point y clear now listen carefully magnetic field lines are always nearly normal to the surface of ferromagnet now what is the meaning of this statement now we know very well actually there is a concept concept is what listen carefully this is a concept concept whenever we are talking about relation between b and h and if we go for a higher calculation that you will learn in a next higher classes so whenever you will find a relation between a magnetic field and we can say magnetization clear so at that time you will find there is a uh, definitely we can say permeability is related to b and h clear now for a substance or we can say for a medium that is having permeability is very very greater than one clear what i am saying to you because it is given in a question we have ferromagnetic substance and for ferromagnetic substance we have value of permeability this is very very high clear or you can say more than thousand clear so whenever we have value of mu this is very very greater than one at that time we can say yes magnetic field lines are always normal to the surface of ferromagnet clear to everyone so you have to keep only one thing in mind for ferromagnetic substance whenever magnetic field lines comes it always incident normal to surface of ferromagnet clear so this is all about part number e now if i if i talk about part number f in part number f it is given would the maximum possible magnetization of a paramagnetic sample would be same order of magnetization as the ferromagnet now listen carefully now we know in paramagnetic substance definitely some of the atomic dipoles are arranged in the direction of magnetizing field but in a ferromagnetic substance we know there there is a domains clear and if we if i if i am talking about domain clear so definitely in a particular domain all the di atomic dipoles are arranged in a particular direction clear so definitely we can say uh, perme permeability value is more in ferromagnetic substance compared to uh, we can say paramagnetic substance but is it possible is it possible that we can reach any paramagnetic substance is nearby or it is having same property as ferromagnetic substance yes it is possible but only in one condition when we apply a very high magnetizing field on paramagnetic substance and that is practically not possible clear so it is given would the maximum possible magnetization of paramagnetic sample of a same order of magnitude as the magnetization of a ferromagnetic it is possible yes this is possible when when we apply a very high magnetizing field to a paramagnetic substance at that time definitely some property will differ from ferromagnetic substance but it will actually find uh, we find here nearly same magnitude of magnetizing field uh, as the ferromagnetic substance clear so this is all about this question so dear student now we are going to discuss question number 5.17 clear and again this is a question uh, from this question we have total number of parts and each part they are asking to you some questions clear so now we are going to discuss first part number a so in part number a question is given to you explain qualitatively on the basis of domain picture the re irreversibility in the magnetization curve of a ferromagnet clear so irreversibility means what irreversibility means uh, first of all whatever energy that we are supplying we are not recovering back that much amount of energy that is known as irreversibility clear but how can we explain here concept of uh, we can see irreversibility in a ferromagnet uh, with the help of a domain picture so concentrate here first of all if i talk about ferromagnet so in ferromagnet uh, we can say there is 
some atomic dipoles and atomic dipoles are arranged in a particular direction in a particular domain clear so if we are not applying any magnetizing field at the time net magnetic dipole moment that always remain zero clear we can also understand it with the help of this diagram so yes so let's suppose i'm saying here we have this is a ferromagnetic substance clear and let's suppose actually here we have let's suppose four uh let's suppose like this. i'm drawing like this this one clear so let's suppose here we have four different domains and each domain atomic dipoles is situated or oriented in a particular direction like this clear so in a particular domain all atomic dipoles are having in a same direction now let's suppose here we can see these atomic dipoles are situated like this so now we can say in each domain we have a large number of atomic dipoles clear and they are actually randomly oriented like this clear so this is a situation that we will find when there is no any magnetizing field clear so at this time we can say we are not applying here magnetizing field so we can say here net magnetic moment this value we are getting that is zero clear zero i can say this is joule per tesla clear but what will happen and why we are getting here irreversibility so let's suppose if i am applying uh, some magnetizing field on this we can say if if i am applying here magnetizing field on this ferromagnetic substance what will happen listen carefully now as we are applying here magnetizing field at the time atomic dipoles that is uh, always try to gain their orientation according to this magnetizing field clear so we can see here slowly slowly these domains are actually increasing like this clear we can say in this direction we are getting maximum number of atomic dipoles clear and like this clear so like this so we can say as we are applying this magnetizing field this domain is actually try to align themselves in a particular direction and we can see after that this ferromagnet is magnetized clear to you so it means if we are providing here some external magnetizing field actually we are utilizing some of its energy in uh, to align these dipoles in a particular direction yes or no but let's suppose if i say to you let's suppose they remove this uh, magnetizing field then what will happen so as this magnetizing field is removed at the time some of atomic dipoles again gain their original domain orientation but this is not possible that all the atomic dipoles all that atomic dipoles will not recover their original orientation clear it means whatever total energy first that is utilized to align them in a particular direction that is not recovered back clear to you it means we can see total energy actually we are getting some gap in an energy or some difference in an energy so that actually difference of energy is dissipated in a form of heat clear so we can say this is a concept of irreversibility and this is qualitative explanation and basis on domain theory clear so this is all about part number a clear to everyone yes now i am going to discuss part number b in part number b it is given the hysteresis loop of a soft iron piece has a much smaller area than of a carbon steel piece clear so i think you know hysteresis loop we can say let's suppose if you draw here a graph between b and h clear and we can see the curve we are drawing like this this one clear so actually if we draw this bh curve for two different uh, material two different magnetic materials first i am drawing here this is for the soft iron piece and second one that i am drawing for the carbon steel so let's suppose this is a diagram for carbon steel carbon steel clear and if you draw here for for i can say a soft iron piece how can we draw for soft iron piece i can draw it like this like this this one and this one 
clear to you so now from here you can see if we talk about total area of bh curve what i am saying to you if i am talking about total area of bh curve clear so if i am saying this total area of bh curve you can see that bh curve area is more for carbon steel clear so i can say bh curve area or we can say bh curve area or we can say the area of this hysteresis loop we can say this is area of area of hysteresis loop area of hysteresis loop actually it provides here total amount of energy that is dissipated in a form of loss clear so we can say definitely uh, we can say hysteresis loop uh, we can say uh, definitely the energy the heat energy that is dissipated in a carbon steel is more compared to soft steel clear this is a diagram for soft steel clear so directly you should keep in your mind only there is a one concept area of this bh curve that provides you the energy total heat lost or the uh, heat lost in the form of uh, we can say energy lost in the form of heat clear so this is all about part number b clear to everyone now now we are going to discuss here part number c and in part number c it is given to you a system displaying a hysteresis loop such as a form a ferromagnet is a device for storing memory clear so explain the meaning of this statement now listen carefully generally we see if we talk about bh curve so we can understand this bh curve by applying some magnetizing field to ferromagnetic substance clear but this ferromagnetic substance or its magnetic field or we can say it, its magnetic field it depends only on one factor no actually it also depends the number of time this cycle is repeated clear so we can say more that uh, we can say more the number of times this cycle is repeated we can say we will find the less value of magnetic field and corresponding to that magnetizing field clear so it means we can say here we can say this uh, system of hysteresis loop it we can utilize it as a storing memory and it can represent the number of times this magnetic cycle is completed clear so this is this is the meaning of this statement now we are going to discuss part number d what kind of ferromagnetic material is used for coating magnetic tape in a cassette player clear so for the coating of cassette that we utilize in a uh, for the coating of magnetic tape that is utilized in a cassette we utilize here a particular material that is known as ceramic C ceramic clear so we utilize here a particular substance that is ceramic clear to everyone yes now if i am talking about part number e so in part number e it is given to you a certain region of space is to be shielded from magnetic field suggest a method clear so let's suppose here i am having let's suppose i am taking here this is soft iron ring this is what i am saying this is soft iron ring clear let's suppose this is soft iron ring clear and let's suppose we uh, place any particular um, we can say measuring instrument in the space between this soft rings clear so we can see a certain region of space that is to be shielded from magnetic field so this is a one method let's suppose if we place soft iron ring a soft iron soft iron ring that is occupy or surrounding at a particular place that we want to protect uh, from magnetic field lines now you can say sir what will happen so actually we can say let's suppose from this direction magnetic field lines is coming like this clear so magnetic field lines when it will uh, we, when it is going through this iron ring actually it will passes through iron ring and it will goes like this clear so from here we can see that magnetic field lines this is passes through this iron ring instead of it is going through the space between this iron ring clear so we can say like this we can protect any measuring instrument from magnetic field for from the magnetic field clear so this is one of the method that you can utilize clear so this is all about this question so now student we are going to discuss question number 5.18 clear in this question it is given to you a long straight 
horizontal cable carries a current of 2.5 ampere in the direction of 10 degree south of west to 10 degree north of east clear so let's suppose first i am drawing here uh, north south east and west clear so concentrate on the screen now we can see here this is the direction that is east clear i can say this one is west clear now this is a geographical north and we can say this is geographical south clear to everyone so actually what is this we can say this is east direction west direction and north and south so where is the north north is uh, we can say this vertical direction no actually we can say if you see from this side this is east this one is west we can say this one is north and this one is west uh, this one is south clear this one is north this one is south east and west clear now concentrate on a question in this question it is given to you a long straight horizontal cable carries a current of 2.5 ampere in a direction 10 degree south of west so we can say 10 degree south of west it means this should be like this clear so let's suppose i am taking this is a straight wire and in this question it is given 10 degree west of south so this angle is given 10 degree clear to 10 degree north of east so we can see this one is also 10 degree clear now the magnetic meridian of the place happens to be 10 degree west of geographical meridian clear so geographical meridian 10 degree west of geographical meridian clear so we can say this side is what that is uh, we can say uh, we can say this is west side so from here if you see this situation is like this <coughs> clear it is given in directly in a question the magnetic meridian of a place happens to be 10 degree west of geographical meridian clear so i can say this angle is given to you that is also 10 degree clear now question is given here the direction of current is this direction this is 2.5 ampere now now read this question again the earth magnetic field at the location is 0.33 gauss so we can say value of capital b this is given to you 0.33 gauss clear so from here you can see uh, this is the direction this is a magnetic meridian and it is actually play, we can see actual location of magnetic meridian is 10 degree west uh, 10 degree west from north clear so we can say this is a value of magnetic field is given to you so can we find here value of bh clear so we can find here horizontal component horizontal component of magnetic field we can write like this this is b cos of del and vertical component of b we can say this is equal to b sin of del clear now what is del here we can say this is angle of dip clear so it is also given in a question angle of dip is zero clear so from here we can write like this this is b cos of zero and we can say this is equal to b sin of uh, we can say this is uh, directly we can say uh, actually what is required here the vertical component of uh, vertical component of magnetic field is not required we are just finding here horizontal component clear so horizontal component we are getting this is equal to b clear so directly we can say bh this one is equal to b and this is equal to 0 0.33 goes clear now what is our objective in this question my objective here is to calculate or locate the line of neutral points clear so where we will find line of, of neutral points we find line of neutral point when magnetic field that is produced by this straight wire definitely this is long straight wire and that is having same in magnitude with the uh, same in magnitude of earth magnetic field but in an opposite direction clear so directly you can see <coughs> at neutral point at neutral point i can say bh this should be equal to at neutral point i can say bh this should be equal to uh, directly we can say mu naught i over 2 pi r yes or no clear to you because this is a long straight wire and for long straight wire directly we can say value of magnetic field this is given by mu naught i upon 2 pi r this time i am not taking direction into consideration clear we are just talking about magnitude so we can write like this mu naught i divided by 
2 pi this is bh clear now we can put here value of uh, mu naught i 2 pi and bh and we can get our answer so value of mu naught this is given by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 multiply what about current current is given this is 2.5 ampere divided by i can say 2 pi multiply i can say bh clear bh equal to 0 0.33 so 0 0.33 into 10 to the power minus 4 clear so from here we can write like this this one is what 2 clear and we can say 2 multiply 2.5 this is equal to 5 5 multiply 10 to the power minus 7 clear so from here we can write like this value of r this is written as 2 multiply or 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 0 0.33 i can write this is equal to 1 by 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 from here you can say this is 10 to the power minus this is 10 to the power minus 3 this is what 5 5 multiply 3 15 clear so we can say this is equal to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter clear so exactly what is location of neutral point so directly you can say directly you can say if you want to calculate location of neutral point so value of r we are getting this is equal to 1.5 centimeter clear to you we are getting that location r equal to 1.5 centimeter clear so we can write like this r equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter clear we can convert this meter into centimeter yes r equal to 1.5 centimeter clear to you yes now important part is here what is direction where we will find this location of neutral point clear now you can see actually whenever i am saying this is uh, north and south i can say here this is uh, this is we can say magnetic south this is magnetic south and we can say this is magnetic north clear this is given here this is the direction of magnetic meridian now you can say what is direction of earth magnetic field so earth magnetic field direction this is given by from uh, we can say north we can say north to south like this so this is the direction of bh yes or no so now we can say this is the direction of bh now you can see here we have this wire and i am assuming here a point that is perpendicular at a distance r and that is perpendicular to this screen also clear now how can i find here well direction of magnetic field clear so now you can say if we talk about thumb thumb indicate direction of current so thumb indicate direction of current you can say your finger is indicating that point clear and we can say direction is indicating by curling finger clear so you can see value of magnetic field or value of magnetic field is getting direction due to this straight wire that is uh, we can see here this is perpendicular I mean you can say that is parallel to this screen but you can see in this direction clear or you can say this in this direction and we can say that is just opposite to magnetic field clear so in short I am saying to you what is conclusion here conclusion is very simple we are getting neutral point at a distance r equal to 1.5 centimeter and the location of that point is above uh, 1.5 centimeter above about this wire clear so this is all about this question clear to everyone now student we are going to discuss question number 5.19 and in this question it is given to you a telephone cable at a place has four long straight horizontal wire carrying a current of one ampere in a same direction from east to west so first of all i am drawing here uh, direction so directly i am saying here let's suppose this one is north we can say this is south this is east and this one is west clear now it is given here we are placing four wires four long straight wires so i am saying let's suppose you can assume this is a long straight wire and current is flowing from a direction of east to west so i can say current is flowing in this direction and this value we have one ampere clear so direction of current we have this is from east to west and current value we have one ampere clear that now it is given the earth magnetic field at this place is 0 0.39 gauss so we can say value of b this is given 0 0.39 g so can we calculate here value of 
horizontal component of uh, magnetic field earth magnetic and vertical component yes so i can write like this value of bh value of bh this is given by b cos of del clear so we can say b b value is given 0.39 multiply i can say cos del del is what this is angle of dip clear actually let us try to understand this situation you can say this direction we have east this one is we have west this direction is north and back direction is south clear so it is also given here angle of dip is what but you have to assume magnetic declination nearly zero it means we can say we can assume uh, that is geometrical north south direction you can also assume this is the same as a magnetic uh, that magnetic meridian this is also the same direction magnetic meridian clear it means we can say in this question geometrical meridian geographical meridian geographical meridian and we can say magnetic meridian both are same clear so now we can see uh, it is given here cos del del value is what this is angle of dip angle of dip is given 35 degree now we don't know actually what is value of cos 35 so whenever this type of question will come in any examination definitely this value will be given to you that's why i am also providing here this value this is equal to 0 0.81 clear so from here i can write like this this is 0 0.39 multiply i can say this is 0 0.8 clear so now we can say this is 0 0.81 i am taking this is 0 0.8 we can assume this is 0 0.40 so that uh, calculation will remain easy clear so i can say this is 0 0.40 and we can write like this is 4 by 5 clear from here you can say we can say this is 2 by 5 multiply 4 by 5 so this one is 8 by 25 clear so now we can say this is 0 0.3 we have 5 0 0.3 uh, two, we can say that is Gauss. Clear to everyone? Yes. So, can we calculate here value of vertical component? Yes. So, this is given by B sine of del. Now, you can say, sir, from where we are getting? Actually, definitely you should know here. Uh, in this direction, we have horizontal component. This is direction of net magnetic field. This is vertical component of magnetic field. And I can say this is angle of dip. Clear? So from here we can find this value. So value of B, it is given in a question 0 0.39 and I can say this is sine of, uh, directly we can say 35, clear? So sine 35, this is 0 0.57. So I am taking here, this is approximately 0 0.40 multiplied sine 35. This is 0 0.57, but I am taking this is equal to 0 0.55. I can take this is 0 0.55, clear? So from here you can say if you multiply it, you can multiply 40 with 55 so i can say this is 0 and we can say this is 20 we have 2 so this is 22 clear and it is divided by 10 to the power 4 so from here you can say we are getting value 0 0.22 gauss clear to you so this is the value of bv and bh we are getting clear now important part is here what is our objective in this question my objective is very clear in this question is to calculate the resultant magnetic field at point 4 cm below cable so you can see this is a cable you can see this is a cable clear and we have to find magnetic field at a distance 4 cm below this wire so now you can say this is a long straight wire so we can write here value of b this is mu naught i upon 2 pi r but important here we have four wires and current is flowing in the same direction so i can see first here we will find what is the direction of magnetic field due to this wire so you can say thumb indicates direction of current clear we can say this palm is representing that point and now if you curl your finger definitely perpendicular outward direction is the direction of magnetic field due to these four wires clear but what about earth magnetism horizontal component of earth magnetism we can see in the direction from this uh, south to north why because this is geometrical north and south we can see here we are getting uh, we are getting here this is geometrical this is geometrical south this is geometrical north clear so we can write like this this is magnetic north clear we can see this just we can say this is magnetic north clear i can say this is magnetic north clear and i can say this is magnetic south so what is direction of earth magnetism or horizontal component of 
earth we can say from north to south but we are getting value of magnetic field due to these four wires that is perpendicular outward so it means i can say directly value of b this is given by four times of mu naught i divided by 2 pi r clear four multiplied what is value of mu naught mu naught value we are getting this is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 value of current 1 ampere i can say 1 divide by 2 pi multiply what is value of r r is given 4 cm clear so i can say this is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 so we can say this one this is 2 i can say this one is cancelled out so this value we are getting 2 clear from here you can say this is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla clear now you know very well uh we know 1 into 10 uh, we can say 10 to the power minus 4 tesla this is equal to 1 gauss so from here we can say this is 0.2 g clear so now can we find here net value of magnetic field in a horizontal direction yes so directly we can say net b in horizontal direction now we are getting magnetic field due to this four wires 0.2 g and horizontal component we are getting 0.32 so directly you can say 0.32 minus 0.2 this is equal to 0.12 gauss clear and what is vertical component vertical component we have this is 0.22 gauss clear so now what is net magnetic field below 4 cm uh, at a point 4 cm below this four wire this is given by final or you can say b dash this is given by under root of 0.12 square plus i can say this is 0.22 square clear so you can calculate it and you can definitely get your answer near about you will get here this is 0.254 gauss near about clear so definitely you can say this is 0.1 uh, 0.144 clear and you can say this is 0.484 yes or no clear you can write like this this is equal to 0.144 plus 0.484 if you add it and if you find square root you will find this answer 0.25 goes clear so this is all about this question clear to everyone so student we are going to discuss question number 5.20 and in this question it is given to you a compass needle free to turn in a horizontal plane is placed at the center of circular coil of 30 tons and radius 5 cm clear so now concentrate here now it is given in a question we have a circular needle we have a compass needle it is free to turn in a horizontal plane is placed at a center of circular coil of n equal to 30 and radius is given 12 cm clear so first i am writing here and so i can say value of n yes value of n this is given to you 30 and value of radius this is given to you 12 cm clear to you clear it is given n number of turns 30 and radius is given 30 cm clear a compass needle is free to rotate only in a horizontal plane fine the coil is in a vertical plane making an angle of 45 degree with magnetic meridian clear so now let us draw here a diagram so let's suppose i am saying this direction is a west direction this one is what geographical north i can say this is geographical south clear and we, we can say here this is west and actually you can say this is east this one is east and this one is west clear now it is given here compass needle can move only in a horizontal direction clear and a coil is situated at an angle 45 degree with the earth magnetic field clear so now we can see one more thing is given to you in a question uh yes magnetic declination at this place we are getting zero clear so now we can see uh we can draw here a diagram like this let's suppose let's suppose this is representing here this is a circular coil you can see why i am drawing this diagram like this because you are observing from this side clear and you cannot see here complete circle you will see only the diametric face clear so it is given in a question we are taking this angle that is 45 yes or no yes it is making an angle 45 degree 45 degree with magnetic meridian okay fine 
when the current in a coil that is 0.35 ampere clear so value of current value of current i this is given to you 0.35 ampere clear now what is my objective in this question my objective in this question is, is to find horizontal component of earth magnetic field at the location okay fine but it is also given needle points from west to east clear so now we can see uh, if i draw here direction of needle direction of needle is given to you this direction clear from west to east clear so now we can say actually i am also assuming the current that is flowing in this circular loop current that is also clockwise if if i am observing from top clear so at the time you can see you will find direction of net magnetic field in this direction clear because this is clockwise for the clockwise if you curl your finger if you curl your finger like this thumb indicate direction of magnetic field so this is direction of magnetic field this is direction of magnetic field clear now if this angle is 45 i can say this one is also 45 this one is also 45 clear now now if i am talking about this side if i am talking about this side i can say here we have one component of earth magnetic that is horizontal component why because magnetic declination is zero so we can assume if this is geog uh, geographical north and geographical south i can say here we have magnetic north this one is magnetic south and direction of earth magnetic field from north to south clear so i can say this is the direction of bh clear now you can see our objective is what our objective here is to first calculate value of b clear so how can we calculate now we can now you know if i parallel shift any vector if i parallel shift any vector we can say that value is of that vector is not changing clear so i can see i can put this value bh here so let's suppose this is bh again i am drawing here yes so from here you can see let's suppose i am drawing this is value of b clear and i can say this value we are getting that is bh clear from here you can say this angle we have 90 clear so now you can apply here lamy theorem yes or no or you can say you can apply here triangle rule clear what is that rule we can say from here bh value of bh this is given uh, you can write like this it will be better now we can write like this value of bh bh divided by sin of 45 this should be equal to bh upon sin of 45 this should be equal to i can say b divided by sin 90 clear to everyone so bh divided by sin 45 this is equal to b divided by sin 90 clear so from here i can write like this value of bh this is equal to b sin of 45 clear value of sin 45 1 by root 2 so we can say this is b into 1 by root 2 now now we know we have a circular coil and it is current carrying circular coil so what is value of magnetic field due to this circular coil at a center it is given by mu not i mu not ni upon 2r yes so we can write like this value of bh this is given by mu not ni divided by 2r multiply 1 by under root 2 clear to everyone so from here i can write like this mu h this is mu not ni divided by 2 under root 2 r clear now i can put here all values and i can get here value of horizontal component of earth magnetic clear so from here i can see value of mu not we have 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 number of turns number of turns in a circular coil we have 30 clear and multiply value of current value of current i this is given 0.35 ampere and it is divided by i can say 2 root 2 multiply r so what is value of r r is given 12 cm clear so i can say this is 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 now we have to simplify how can we simplify directly we can say this is 3 i can say this is 10 clear so from here we can write like this 
pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 0 0.35 it, this is 10 to the power 2 divided by 2 root 2 clear so if I simplify it I will find here value of bh bh value 3.5 pi so pi value we have 3.14 approximately I am taking this value 10 multiply this is 10 to the power minus 5 into 0 0.35 divided by 2 root 2 we can say 2 multiply 1.414 clear so 0 0.35 multiply 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 2.8 clear 2.8 so from here we can see this one and this one I can divide with 10 clear so from here I am getting if you cancel out with 7 I can say this is 5 this one is 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 so from here I am getting value 0. Uh, 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla clear we can also write in terms of gauss so this is equal to 0 0.12 g clear so we can say this is value of horizontal component of earth magnetic clear to everyone yes now now here it is also given the current in a coil is reverse okay so first of all if i am assuming in a clockwise direction now this current is flowing in anti clockwise direction fine and the coil is rotated about its vertical axis by an angle angle of 90 degree in anti clockwise sense so let's suppose i ha i am having here this circular coil and this is its vertical circle so i am just rotating 90 degree with this uh, coil that's all now we have to predict the direction of needle okay it's very easy question now listen carefully what i am doing here first of all i am changing here direction of current so as the direction of current changes now we will curl our finger like this thumb indicate direction of magnetic field so from here you can see direction of magnetic field now it is given by like this this is direction of magnetic field yes so we can assume this is direction of magnetic field now in second number case clear and actually we are rotating just by 90 degree so what will happen nothing we can say this is b we can say this is bh so now our objective here is to find what is the direction of magnetic needle so definitely here this triangle has to be completed so for the triangle has to be completed this arrow should be like this clear it means we can say if you change like this if you change the direction of current if you rotate 90 degree at the time you are getting this magnetic needle from east to west clear so now we have direction of this magnetic needle from east to west clear to everyone because this magnetic needle is in horizontal plane so definitely we always talk about east west or north uh, east west or west to east or east to west clear everyone so this is all about this question now student we are going to discuss question number 5.21 and this, in this question it is given to you a magnetic dipole is under the influence of two magnetic field fine the angle between field direction is 60 degrees so let's assume uh, let's suppose here we have this is a direction of magnetic field yes so yes now we can see let's suppose here we have two magnetic field number one magnetic field this is b1 and let's suppose this is another magnetic field b2 it is given in a question we have angle between these two field this is given 60 degree fine now it is given here one of the field uh, a magnetic dipole is under the influence of two field okay one of the field has a magnitude of 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 tesla so let's suppose i am assuming b1 this is equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 tesla fine if the dipole comes to stable equilibrium at an angle 15 degree with this field clear so now let's suppose here we have this is the position of this dipole so let's suppose i can see this is position of dipole let's suppose this is position of dipole clear and at this position this dipole is in stable equilibrium making an angle 15 degree 15 degree with this field okay now what is magnitude of other field now listen first carefully actually we are placing any uh, magnetic dipole and magnetic dipole in the under the influence of magnetic field 
सो डेफिनेटली वेन दिस मैग्नेटिक डायपोल इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम इट मीन्स आई कैन सी नेट टॉर्क दैट इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस डायपोल इज जीरो You can assume this magnetic dipole such that let's suppose here we have a short magnet. You can say this is north and south, and we can say net torque acting on this uh, that uh, short magnet that is zero at that time. We can say here this is in stable equilibrium. So how can we write? We can write like this: tau one equal to tau two. Clear? This angle is given to you 15 degree. I can say this angle we have 45 degree. Clear? So from here I can write like this. Tau one equal to tau two. So we can say magnetic moment M B one. I can say this is sine theta one. This should be equal to M B two sine of theta two. Clear? Nothing information is given regarding M. So I can say uh, because this is related to a single dipole. So mag single magnetic dipole. I can say M will remain same. Clear? So from here you can say we can calculate here value B two. This is given by b1 sine of theta 1 divided by sine of theta 2. Clear? So value of b2 this is given by what is value of b1? B1 value we have 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 multiply sine. I can say theta 1. Clear? So theta 1. I am saying this is 15 degree divided by I can say this is sine 6. Uh, we can say 45. Sine 40. Five. This is sine of forty-five degree. Clear? So from here I can write like this: value of B two. This is equal to one point two into ten to the power minus two multiply sine fifteen. Actually, you can calculate here value of sine fifteen by a simple method. You can apply. You can write here like this: sine forty-five minus thirty. Clear? You can apply here formula sine a minus b. What is formula of sine a minus b? I can say sine a cos of b minus I can say cos of a sine of b. Clear? So directly you can say cos 30. Cos 30 equal to what? Under root of 3 by 2. Clear? So this is equal to under root 3 divided by 2 root 2 minus 1 upon. This is 1 by root 2, 1 by 2. Clear. So from here, if you solve it, under root three minus one divided by two root two, you can say you can calculate here value, and approximately this will come out to be zero point two five. Approximately. Clear. So I can say here we can write here this is zero point two five, and it is divided by because this is sine forty five. Sine forty five means I can say this is one by root two. Clear. Now we have to just calculate value of b two. Yes. Now we can say here value of B2. Value of B2. This is given by uh, 1.2 into under root 2 into I can say 1 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 2. Clear? So from here we can write like this. This is 3 divided by 10 into under root 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. From here you can say this is 3 root 2 multiply 10 to the power minus 3 Tesla. Clear? So. From here we can say three multiply one point four one four into ten to the power minus three Tesla. So if you multiply it, you can see this is we have twelve one four. We can say twelve. We have one four point two four two into ten to the power minus three Tesla. You can convert into Gauss also because uh, this is uh, we can find it because ten to the power minus four Tesla equal to one Gauss. Clear? So from here we can say this is zero point four two G. Clear? So I can say this is value of B2. Clear? So this is all about this question. Clear to everyone? Now, student, we are going to discuss question number 5.22. And in this question, it is given to you a mono energetic 18 kilo electron volt electron beam initially in horizontal direction is subjected to horizontal magnetic field of 0.04 Gauss. Normal to initial direction. Clear. So first, let us try to understand this given situation. An electron is already having some initial kinetic energy because it is given this mono energetic electron, and this value is given to you that is initial energy. Clear. So we can write like this: 
initial kinetic energy it means i can say half of mv square this is given to you in 18 kilo electron volt clear or you can see if we write in terms of formula we can say this is equal to what uh, we can say this is equal to ev clear you know very well w uh, potential difference potential difference is given by a w by q so from there we can write w equal to q times of v and q is given here that is charge of a electron so this is equal to ev clear so always keep in mind this v is what that is potential difference and this v is what that is velocity so can we calculate here value v yes this is given by under root of 2 ev divided by i can say that is m yes or no yes now it is also given in this question this electron beam is actually going in horizontal direction so let's suppose i am saying uh, this electron is going in this direction and let's suppose this is position of that electron clear and it is also given it is subjected to a magnetic field initial horizontal magnetic field but normal to its initial direction it means i can see this magnetic the force we can say this uh, magnetic field the value of magnetic field that is perpendicular to this is initial direction clear so definitely we can see when v and b both are perpendicular at the time a force will act on this particle yes or no and definitely it will move in a circular path clear this concept will definitely clear to you clear so now we can see let's suppose this electron is moving in this circular path clear so concentrate So now it is clear to you, it is completely clear to you, this electron will move in a circular path. So let's suppose I am taking this as a uh, center, clear? And now let us try to understand what is this question. Question is saying to you, estimate the up or down deflection of a beam over a distance of 30 centimeter. Means when this electron beam is moving 30 centimeter in horizontal direction, what is total distance? Uh, covered in a vertical direction you have to find clear so very simple question we have uh, we can see let's suppose after some time let's suppose this electron will be at this position i can say this is radius r clear now we can say here this distance covered is x and let's suppose this distance we have y clear so overall my objective in this question is to calculate y y is given by i can say this distance total we have r let's suppose i am taking this angle theta so we can say this value we have r cos of theta clear this r cos theta so from here you can write like this r r minus cos theta clear so we can say r 1 minus cos of theta clear so i can also write like this y equal to r 1 minus cos theta how can we write here cos theta we can write like this 1 minus uh, we can see 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 and we can see that is power half clear like this yes or no cos 2 theta cos 2 theta equal to what 1 minus 2 sin square theta I am saying this is cos theta so I can say this is 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 clear or if you are getting confused you can uh, directly say we are getting value of the y or we can say that is the deflection in a vertical direction this is given by r1 minus cos theta clear now listen very carefully now our sole objective here first is to calculate value of r clear and second our objective here is to calculate theta okay so <clears throat> how can we calculate here value of r <coughs> now it is very clear this electron is actually uh, going in a circular path because magnetic field is acting perpendicular to its initial direction clear so from there we can see radius or we can see this radius capital R how can we calculate this capital R directly you know formula capital R this is given by mv by qb from where we are getting this formula actually when this uh, electron is moving in this circular path the necessary centripetal force it is provided by I can say uh, necessary centripetal force provided by magnetic force clear or in short you can write like this qvb this should be equal to mv square by capital r clear from here we can say v and v cancelled out and from here you can write r equal to mv by qb clear to everyone yes now 
now we have to write here first value of v in this formula so we can say this is m by q b and under root of this is 2 e v divided by m clear from here you can see uh, this is actually q q we can say this is charge charge of an electron so directly you can say this is given by under root of 2 m e v divided by i can say this is equal to what uh, this is e yes this is uh, we can see just a minute now from here we can write like this value of v this is under root of 2 e v by m clear and this is m v by q b clear so i can see value of r this is given by m divided by e v under root of 2 e v by m clear so from here we can write like this value of r under root of 2 m e v divided by e b clear now we can put here all the values and we can get our answer so i am writing here all values first i am writing here mass of an electron this is given in a question 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 clear multiply charge of an electron charge of an electron is given 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 clear potential difference now potential difference is given to you 18 kilovolt so we can write like this this is 18 into 10 to the power 3 volt clear this is also in a square root clear it is divided by i can say this is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 multiplied with b b is given to you 0 0.04 gauss so we can convert into tesla like this clear now we have to simplify this uh, calculation clear so now we can write like this value of r this is given by under root of clear 10 to the power minus 31 minus 19 10 to the power minus 40 and we can say this is 10 to the power minus 37 so 10 to the power minus 37 clear now 2 multiply 9.1 we can say 18.2 so 18.2 multiply i can say this is 1.6 into i can say this is 18 yes or no now it is divided by 10 to the power minus 19 10 to the power minus 4 i can say this is 10 to the power minus 23 clear and 1.6 multiply 0 0.04 clear so now if you solve this uh, calculation and if you take square root and if you divide by all these values clear you will get here value of capital r and this is given by 11.3 meter clear approximate value i am saying this is 11.3 meter now you can calculate like this this is 18 approximately you can take 18 and this is 16 so if you multiply 18 with 16 or directly you can say 18 multiply 18 324 324 multiply 1.6 directly you can say that is 1.6 times and then take square root or you can also write like this 324 if you take square root that becomes 18 clear and 1.6 this becomes 0 0.4 yes or no we can say or you can write like this, this is 4 by under root of 10 clear or you can say 4 uh, multiply 10 to the power minus 38 so 4 becomes 2 and this becomes 10 to the power minus 30 uh, minus 19 clear to you so if you solve it definitely you will get here value equal to 11.3 meter clear so now you can see uh, sometimes students say sir please do some calculation so okay less we can do some calculation i am just giving you a rough idea but okay let's do here some calculation so value of r we can write like this i am just assuming 18 multiply 18 so i can say this is 18 square multiply 1.6 i can say this is 16 into 10 to the power minus 38 divided by 1.6 so directly write here 16 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is 10 to the power minus 26 clear so we can write like this this is 18 multiply 4 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by i can see 4 this is 16 into 10 to the power minus 26 clear to you so now if you solve it uh, definitely you will get your answer clear so this is 1.6 uh, actually this is what 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and 4 into 10 to the power minus this is 21 clear my distance this is 21 this one is 21 
listen carefully. Uh, this is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 or we can say 4 into 10 to the power minus 2, clear? Or directly we can calculate it, clear? Listen carefully. So, in denominator we are getting 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and we can say 4 into 10 to the power minus 2, clear? So, we are getting here uh, 16 into 4 and that is 10 to the power minus 22. So, I am saying this is 10 to the power minus 22 minus 22, clear? So, now we can write like this. Yes. So, from here we can see uh, 4 and 4, this one is cancelled out, clear? And this is 16, clear? So, 22 this one we have and we can say that is 19. So, we can say this is 10 to the power 3, clear? So, if you solve it, approximately you will find that is 11.3 meter, that's final, clear? You can do some calculation, clear? Yes. So, now we can see what is our objective, that is very important. Our objective in this question is to calculate value of this y, clear? So we are getting value of r that is 11.3 meter. So I can say this value we have 11.3 meter, clear? So now, can we find here value of this theta? Yes, directly I can say what is value of sine of theta. Sine theta is given by x by r, clear? Value of x, value of x we have 30 centimeter. I can say this is 0 0.30 meter divided by r we are getting 11.3, clear? So from here we can write like this, value of sin theta, this is given by 3 divided by 113, clear to you? Sin theta equal to 3 divided by 113. So now that's why I'm saying to you here, it is always better to write value of sin theta, clear? So now we can write that value Yes, uh, definitely, uh, slightly, uh, actually calculation will be lengthy in this question, clear, due to some variables, but uh, if you talk about concept, the concept is very simple, clear? Yes, so from here, now we can see, uh, we, if you put here value of y, value of r, r is given to you, this is 11.3, so 11.3, 1 minus, I can say this is cos of theta. So, dear student, now you can write like this, y, y, this is given by 11.3, 1 minus. Now, cos theta, how can we write cos theta? We can write like this, 1 minus 2 sin square theta under root, clear? So, now we can also write like this, y value, this is 11.3, 1 minus, 1 minus, uh, 1 plus, I can say 1 by 2 into 2 sin square theta, clear? Actually, I am assuming here the value of this 2 sin square theta is very less compared to 1 because you can see here sin theta value we have 3 upon 1 by 3 upon 113 and we are doing square of it. Definitely, this value will come out to be very less than 1, clear? So, 2 and 2 is cancelled out, 1 and 1 is also cancelled. So, from here I can say 11.3 multiplied sin square theta, clear? So, what is value of sin theta? 3 upon 113. So, 11.3 multiply 3 upon 113 multiply 3 upon 113. So, from here you can say this one and this one cancelled out. Yes or no? So, from here we are getting value y. This is equal to 9 divided by 10 into 113. So, from here you can say 0 0.9 divided by 113. Clear? So, if you solve it, you will find here value, this is equal to approximately 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Clear? So, like this we can calculate here uh, deflection or deflection in an up or down direction and this, is, this will be come out to be near about 4 mm. Clear? So, this is all about this question. Now, we are going to discuss question number 5.23 and in this question it is given to you a sample of paramagnetic salt contains 2 into 10 to the power 24 atomic dipoles. Each of dipole moment 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per tesla. Clear? So, now we can say uh, what is total number, uh, we can say what is total atomic dipole, mo uh, what is total dipole moment? Can we calculate? Yes. So, we can say 
if I am right here total dipole moment this is given by 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 23 this is what this is dipole moment for each atomic dipole clear and we and this paramagnetic salt contains 2 into 10 to the power 24 atomic dipoles so it is multiplied with 2 into 10 to the power 24 so we can say this is 3 into I can say uh, 3 multiplied 10 so directly you can say this is 30 joule per tesla but in this question it is given here that the degree of magnetic saturation achieved in only 15 percent so what is actual actual magnetic moment actual magnetic moment is 15 percent so i can say this is 15 by 100 and multiplied with 30 this one and this one cancelled out so 45 by 10 so i can say this is 4.5 joule per tesla clear 4.5 joule per tesla clear this is value of m1 we are having it is also given here this sample is placed under a homogeneous magnetic field of 0.64 tesla clear it means value of b1 this is also given to you 0.64 tesla and it is cooled to a temperature of 4.2 kelvin so value of t1 is also given 4.2 kelvin fine now it now what is our objective our objective here is to calculate total dipole moment of a sample for a magnetic field of 0.98 tesla so value of b2 we have 0.98 tesla and at a temperature of 2.8 kelvin so i can say t2 this is equal to 2.8 kelvin now in this question it is given we have to assume curie law so according to curie law i can say m this is given by something constant and multiply with b by t clear so we can write like this m2 by m1 this should be equal to b2 by b1 and multiplied with t1 by t2 clear so m2 now we can see m2 divided by m1 m1 is given to you what that is 4.5 clear value of b2 b2 we have 0.98 divided by value of b1 b1 we have 0.64 multiply t1 by t2 t1 is given 4.5 2 thick clear and t2 this is 2.8 now we have to just simplify it clear from here you can say this one and this one cancel out this one we have 4 and we can say that is 7 so we can say this is 6 yes or no now from here we can say uh, yes from here we can say this point and point this decimal is cancelled out 0 uh, we can say this is 2 and <coughs> or you can say this is 2 and we have this is 49 clear now we can say this one we are having that is 3 clear so now we can say this is equal to what m2 divided by 4.5 this is equal to 49 multiply 3 divide by uh, divide by i can say that is 64 clear so can we calculate here value of m2 yes so value of m2 that is given by value of m2 yes so value of m2 that is given by uh, m2 this is equal to 4.5 multiply 49 multiply 3 divide by 64 clear so now just multiply uh, actually we have no option so directly we can see this is 45 or we can say 64 so just if you multiply it with 3 i can say this is 15 we have 1 13.5 multiply 49 divide by 64 clear you can take here some approximation let's suppose you are assuming this as to be 48 clear so if you cancel out with 8 i can say this is 6 this one is 8 clear you can say this is 3 and we can say that is 4 yes or no so this is 4 so from here you can say we have 15 we have 1 this is 0 we have 1 40.5 divided by 4 so approximately we are getting this is 0 10.125 and i can say this is joule per tesla clear so this is approximate uh, we can say you can calculate like this so this is value of total dipole moment for the sample of magnetic field at a temperature 
2.8 Kelvin and having magnetic field 0.98 Tesla. Clear? So this is all about this question. Now student we are going to discuss question number 5.24 and in this question it is given to you a Roland ring of mean radius 15 centimeter and 3500 tons of wire wound on a ferromagnetic core of relative permeability 800. Clear? First of all let us try to understand what is meaning of Roland ring. Actually Roland ring is, is a, as a coil we can say on, uh, on which actually you can see this Roland ring is an example of a toroidal solenoid. Clear? Toroid means we can say let's suppose we have a core and that core is made up of any magnetic materials and we are actually winding some coil on that magnetic materials. Clear? So you can take as a simple example Roland ring is an example of a toroid. Clear? Now we know in a toroid we have inner radius and the outer radius. I think that is clear to you. So first let's suppose I am drawing here this is toroidal solenoid. Let's suppose this is one circle. Let's suppose this is denoting a core of this toroid. Clear? You can see you will find in, a, in any textbook figure like this. This is a figure of toroid. Clear? So this is a diagram of toroidal solenoid and we can see, uh, let's suppose this is center, I am saying here this is inner radius, I can say this is outer radius, clear? So actually in the calculation we take here mean radius, clear? So already in this question it is given to you that is mean radius, so definitely easy for us, clear? Now, now we also know for any toroid, we will find magnetic uniform, uh, uniform magnetic field that is given by one expression B equal to mu and i. Clear? Why I am writing here mu and i? Because here we have a particular magnetic material. Roland ring is having a core that is made up of a special magnetic material. Clear? So I can say we can write this mu equal to mu naught into mu r. Clear? What is small n? Small n is a number of tons per unit length. Clear? So I can say this is capital N divided by per unit length. So this is a toroid. So for the toroid we will write here this is circumference that is 2 pi r and multiplied with i. Clear? What is value of mu naught? Mu naught is given to you 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Clear? Multiplied with what is value of mu r? Mu r is given that is equal to 800 multiplied. Number of tons. Number of tons is given 3500 divided by i can say 2 pi multiplied mean radius. Mean radius is given 15 centimeter. So 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 and multiply i. Clear? i is given that is 1.2 ampere. Clear? Now we have to just simplify it. Clear? From here you can say this one is 2. Yes or no? So we can write like this 16 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 35 into 100 into 12 by 10. Clear? And it is divided by 15 into 10 to the power minus 2. From here you can say this is 10 to the power minus 3. Yes or no? From here you can say this is 10 to the power minus 1. Yes. So now we can write like this. This is equal to 16 multiply 35 multiply 12 divided by I can say this is 100. So 100 into 50. Clear? Now you can solve it. We can say this is 4. This is 5. I can say this is 7. Clear? So 4 multi, uh, 7 multiply 4 or you can also write like this value of B. This is given by 16 multiply 7. We can say that is 2 and 1 1 2 multiply 4 and it is divided by 100. Clear? So value of B. This is given by 8 4 4 divided by 100 and this is equal to 4.48 Tesla. Clear? So from here you can say this is a value of value of magnetic field in the core for a magnetizing current of 1.2 ampere. Clear? So this is all about this question. Now student we are going to discuss question number 5.25 and in this question it is given to you the magnetic moment vectors mu s and mu l associated with the intrinsic spin, intrinsic spin angular momentum s and orbital angular momentum i uh, l actually this is l 
respectively of an electron are predicted by quantum theory okay fine now we have to find which of these relation is in accordance with the result expected classically outline the derivation of classical result so first let us try to understand this concept is very simply so let's suppose you know if we talk about some modern physics clear now you know let's suppose here we have nucleus clear and now you know around this nuclear definitely electron revolve clear so let's suppose i am taking this is an electron it is going with certain velocity v distance between this nucleus and electron we have r clear so first can we calculate here value of current yes value of current this is given by total charge per unit time so let's suppose we can say an electron is revolving around this nucleus and time taken in a one time period that is capital t so can we calculate here this value of time period yes so we can write like this value of i this is equal to e divided by 2 pi r divided by v yes so from here i can say this is equal to ev over 2 pi r clear now my objective here is to find relation between angular momentum clear or we can say that is magnetic moment so if i say here magnetic moment magnetic moment rep less representing by mu l clear and it is given by that is i multiply a clear so value of current this is given to you ev divided by 2 pi r and multiplied with pi r square clear so from here we can say pi and pi cancel r and r is cancel so we can write like this ev r divided by ev r divided by 2 clear now we know very well if we are talking about magnetic moment uh sorry angular momentum angular momentum is given by m v m r cross v m r cross v clear to everyone we can say this is given by m r cross v m r cross v now you can say what is direction of r we can say this one r cross v means we can say here we are having direction of angular momentum that is this one that is vertically upward clear but what is the direction of this magnetic moment direction of this magnetic moment is given by direction of area vector clear and area vector direction you can see actually electron is revolving in anti clockwise direction if you looking at a top but actual direction of a current we have in clockwise direction so we will take here this direction opposite to this one clear that's why uh, you can see if we write here just magnitude l is given by mvr clear so let's suppose i am saying this value we are just saying magnitude this is equation number 1 equation number 2 clear so now if you divide equation 1 by 2 so mu l divided by l this is given by evr by 2 and divide by mvr evr divided by 2 and this is mvr vr vr this is cancelled out clear and this is equal to e divided by 2m clear so now if you write in a vector form you can see mu l vector this is given by minus times of e by 2m this is l vector clear so this derivation we are getting from classical theory clear now you can say sir what is this actually this is also this relation between angular momentum or we can say magnetic moment this is also predicted like this and this is due to now modern physics clear or we can say this is due to quantum theory and definitely this is also an experimentally proof but we cannot explain the derivation of this expression by using this classical theory clear so this is all about this question so dear student this is all about class 12 chapter number 5 magnetism and matter so hope you enjoyed this session clear here i explain you the each and every question in a detailed solution as well as you will find some key concept related to theory also clear so this is all about this session so thank you so much